canvas here and let's get started. I believe, I believe, every day is a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. I believe, I believe, every day is a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. To fill the happy little cloud, to fill some happy little trees. Out by here. You can almost paint with anything. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we got the fade down. Woohoo! <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura with Return Talk by Laura. Welcome to Thursdays at 3 ish. Thank you for joining us, and we're going to jump right in and do our um, customer creation winners for this week. So we have two this week. Um, and the first is I did on this because my iPad's always glary, you say, right? So here we go. This is our first one. And let me just remember her name. Gladys. This is a before picture. Here, I'll do that for her. <laughs> is that the after? No, this is the before. Oh. No, she just had some things, you know, in the hallway. So. <clears throat> that looks like our, my hallway. That looks like our front room. Okay, so this was the before. Are you ready for the after? Dun, 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 dun. Ta da! Ooh. I know. Awesome, that isn't it? Good. Yeah. And she talked about on the Facebook page about how they saved money and about how fabulous it was. So she's a winner. So Gladys got $35 credit. Next time you place an order online, just remind us in the notes section that you got a $35 credit and we will refund $35. We have a hello from a lot of places. Chicago, Yay. Idaho, Kentucky, Florida, San Antonio, That's Oxford, so awesome. California, Texas. Yeehaw! Hello, hello! Thanks for joining us, everybody. And then this one is... Let me get the right name right here. Penny Miller. This is a before. Okay, are you ready? And I hate that it printed this way. My printer didn't do a really good job, so it's much better if you want to look it up online. Penny Miller, ready? Here we go. dun dun dun, dun drum roll. Blah, 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 blah. Ta-da! <coughs> right? And she did not do yellow, little yellow lines through hers. <laughs> that is my computer. So sorry. You can't see them. So... She did that in English yeah. Ivy. Yeah. <coughs> Penny, are you watching? If you're watching, I got a question. I don't know if she's watching. She may not be. Well, the what she said in the post was she used English Ivy and dark walnut stain, which you can do over the wood. But I'm wondering if she meant glaze. I just want to make sure I give out well, the right the information. Top? No, the top dark walnut. Oh, dark walnut there. Okay, I'm so on crack. All right, <laughs> that's great. And then top top. So Penny, fabulous job. Thirty-five dollar credit. Place an order. Tell us in the little note section that you got thirty-five dollar Oh yeah, look at credit. the difference in the top. Oh yeah, I wasn't paying attention, was I? You go from yellow to brown. Too fabulous. And she put dark glaze over the did she put dark glaze over the yeah, It's beautiful. I love it. And she and it was funny because she said she wasn't really a green person, but she really liked this, and I really like it too. That was great. Okay, so today we're making iPad slash tablet stands. Can you get some highs flashing through there? Yeah, we got Lake Okanokee, East Texas, Atlanta, Utah, Iowa. Yay! Hello everyone. Hello. Lake Okanokee Falls. Oconee. Now, are Oconee. You that up? <laughs> I'm not good at reading. To trying to turn it on. That's on. All right. Ooh. That's what we're doing today. So we're going to jump right in and get started. We've got two different versions. We've got the one that's painted. Got it. Mm -hmm. And the one that has the same top. Look, a little surprise under there when your tablet is not there, when your iPad's not there. Because a lot of people use these, uh, use like I use mine in the kitchen, and I end up laying it down, and then I'm freaked somebody's going to spill on it, or I can't really read it. So these are great. You can probably put a cookbook in there, too. So the two things we're using, and I'm just going to put this here just in case somebody wants to pause the video when they go back and watch it and get all the dimensions that we used. But we're only using two boards. One of them, um, the back piece... The taller one right here, the stained piece, is, well, you can totally point there, Tom, is 12 and a half by 11 and a half. And then the little easel piece on the back has this little guy right here. And I didn't stain the back, but I did paint the back on the other one, so. And that is, that's the dimensions of that little dude. And then, what? I was just say, we have a hi from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hey, New Mexico. And Florida. And Florida. Yay! Um, 
And then I'm going to tell you what this piece is in just a second because I'm so proud of my uh, rethunking abilities. Um, and then the painted one, the dimensions are on there for the painted one too. And the little easel piece on the back of it. So, we're going to do the painted one. And then I'll tell you how to do the stained one. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do this one. Okay, so we got our piece of wood cut. This, what would you call this, Tom? That's a... <laughs> it goes over a pallet with the strapping goes through on a pallet. So it goes over a pallet and the strapping goes through there. You can get these free, free at, well, Home Depot has them in their trash. So that's where I got there this one. <laughs> the hmm? world can get them free or just the world, the world can, get, can get, them get them free. Oh, Tom didn't get those. I got those. <laughs> I'm the climbing the trash girl. <laughs> but I got in the trash and said, hey, these are really cool. Can I have them? And they said, yes, you may. So I got several different widths and several, like if you, well, I can't give it to you for the pointer, Tom. So there's this one. And there's this one. See, there's a couple different kinds. But they're so cool. Now, if you can't get your hands on one of those, um, then you can always use two separate pieces of wood. You would attach a wood piece going this way and then this way to make your little U shape. But I love that that was already done. I didn't have to attach a bunch of stuff. So, the color I'm using here is fog. And we're just going to put a coat of fog on here. This... Is, well, you probably can't see it, and so I'm not going to say anything because Tom will yell at me. The pointer yeah. will be... I was just going to... I have some dingleberries in my paint. That's not because the paint has dingleberries. That's because my daughter is a dingleberry, and she doesn't put the lid on anything. And you have little scrumblies. Like, see, normally your paintbrushes probably don't look like that, do they? <laughs> uh-huh. That's called working with your daughter. Not me, though. Not Katie, though. No, not, not Katie. Katie is perfect. So we're going to get a coat on this and have Tom put it in front of the fan. All right, Tom. Well, you and the pointer. I'm almost painting my boob. Mm -hmm. Can you put that in front of the fan, please? How much paint you got? Oh, that was a good one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love that one. I did the first one I did and put it together and then painted it. It is much easier to paint this piece before you staple it or nail it to the other thing because you can move it around and get in this little crack here. So my advice is paint the pieces separately, then attach them. Yeah, you can ask questions if anybody has any, or have they all gone to sleep? You're just There's, getting a lot of highs. Getting, well, let's help me in so we can say hi. From Jasper Mountain Crafts and Consignments. Awesome. Valdosta. That's where Peter lives. Do what? That is who did it. That's hilarious. I knew that. That's why I said that. Okay, and then who? Awesome. Valdosta. Valdosta, yay. Yeah, that's what we need. Yeah. You can put that in front of the fan, too. All right. Is that time we almost had a TV show? Remember that? That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kate. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move these. Hi, from Thomasville, North Carolina. Dad, you have your own bill in North Carolina. You have your own bill? <laughs> it's Thomasville. All right. I'm staying going. The that's where my peeps live. <laughs> and so I can show you um, how easy the chalkboard part to do in the middle is. I missed that last hello. Just because they're going to put your mom on hoarders doesn't mean we're going to have our own TV show. I was not going to be on hoarders. Got the raven black this time. The one sitting right there is dark walnut. This is what I had sitting beside me, so I'm trying it. And somehow, there's, is there some kind of film on raw wood, Tom? Is there some kind of film or finish or coating or something on raw wood? No. Okay. Be. Sometimes it just seems like I have to work to get it pushed in like I want. It's not a big deal. I'm just saying I would have thought it would have, you know, sucked it up, but I got to for one it even. There we go. Oh, it's just sanded. Okay. Right. That. Yes, um, somebody wants to know how to redeem a gift certificate they want on a previous video. So, Katie, you want to shine that little camera right over on Jill while she explains that? What? Yes! I am not prepared for that. You're totally prepared. You look darling. Are you ready? All right, slink over there and just focus on the wall or something if that's, you know. <laughs> Okay, part of the oh, interruption. Thank you. <laughs> so, to redeem your this prize, thank you. 
to redeem your prize that you win here on Thursday at 3, just place an order and in the notes part put that you were a Thursday at 3 winner and it's a $35 credit. Awesome. Boom. Now go back to the room. computer. I know. I hate that. <laughs> Okay, here we go. make sure I had the roll one that was the right size. Uh, the other tip I'll give you just one sec is when you're cutting, I'm staining this Raven Black too because this is the front little tray for the stained one. I should have gloves on. Okay. Who's that high? Oh, to oh, you. You just have a little Jill personal says conversation. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now Tom, if you'll move that where it can dry. And I'm gonna show you something about when you're cutting this. Can you get it? Okay. Right. Of course, dear. When you're cutting this, you're gonna measure and mark. So let's just pretend here's our mark. I started cutting here, and I don't know why it doesn't work, but these little guys shatter or you can't get all the way through. So cut from the back. No, they're just not creative enough to know what to do with them. And you're fired. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now, drops off. Now, if this happens, burp, burp. See, can you see those little guys? Uh -huh. Okay. I thought, well, I will salt and sand those off. Actually, what we're going to be sanding Hammer. is bonking. Now they're gone. You can spend forever sanding, but that works just as well. All right, what's our gray one look like? Gray. Is it dry? Which gray one? There's Ball only one gray one. one. Dry? Um, yeah. I thought. All right. We'll it's pretend hot. it's dry. No, we're going to pretend it's dry. Okay, on the gray one, I stenciled. Okay. Are you going to do that? Oh, is that going to cause a problem for you? Well, while I'm stenciling, yeah. Well, then I won't do it while you're stenciling. All right, but I'm not quite ready, so you can continue to do it. All right. We're using slate. For, this was fog. Slate for the stencil. Let me get to the brush. And the key to stenciling anything is, oh shoot, on my other one it was perfect. This one's a little wider. That's okay. Can't mess me up. All right. Very little paint. Let me repeat that. Very little paint. Very teeny little paint. Let's go to the stenciling. Stick it in. Oh, that would be wrong. Get the paint off of there. So you have very little paint. So there's not a lot to pop through. And this stencil is one. How come you're not using a whooper? A what? What's a whooper? A whooper. Was that a question on there? Because you wouldn't have known what a whooper is. A spouncer? Spouncer. Oh. It wasn't a question. I was just dad being the dad. Okay. Well, I thought uh, it was called a whooper. It's not called a whooper, and it's because I don't have one. I just use whatever I have. I like those. I just don't have one. Whoop. There it is. <laughs> I'm sure that's sure that's exactly why it's not called that. Okay, over here my stencil starts getting weird, and there's not really. This is why I like this stencil. If you can find one like this, it's great. There's not really a good repeat. I'll hold it down over here, but. Well, thank you. They insisted on, you need a flower. It's spring. And as soon as they did it, it is not spring here. It's yeah, it's not crazy. feeling spring at all. That's like umbrella and it's raining. I mean, uh, wash your car and it's raining. I got a flower and it's not spring anymore. Okay. So, tum -tum -tum, isn't that fabulous? Now, I'm just going to sit it like, I don't know, it looked like it stopped about there. That's the beauty of this kind of stencil. A lot of stencils have really picky repeats. This one don't. I showed you. Okay. And
This is exciting, isn't it? No one has any questions. It's because everything I'm doing is so self-explanatory. I'm doing so good saying, here's how to do it. You should sing something. Yeah, they've all fallen asleep or logged off. I need to say thank you to Lori. Lori sent me some jelly. It's fabulous. Really good jelly. Oh, my stars, it's good. Yep. Where's the bread from? Uh, the bread's from Atlanta Bread Company. Well, the bread tastes really good with the jelly. No, the jelly made the bread good. The bread oh. would be nasty if you tried it on its own. <laughs> Get my boobs, are you? Okay. All right, ready to pick this one up, and I'm not going to... Oh, hey, Alabama. All right. So, I just... In Chesapeake, Virginia. In Chesapeake, Virginia. So, I just laid that down and did some stenciling. And see, you just really can't tell that there's not a repeat. I so, can tell. Other than but Tom, I mean. who has really high standards, I would just lay it down and do it again, which I'm not going to do right now. And then I would just lay it across the side, so you, you get the idea. So now what I'm going to do, and if there's a spot that bothers you, what Aren't I did on the whole thing? this one, because nobody's talking, they're all bored and I'm hurrying. They're not bored. So, loved. Actually, everybody in the office this one, loved. This one. Uh -huh. It's not as dark as this one. That's, they don't have to be. Shouldn't they be consistent? No. But if there's something that bothers you, I can come in with the fog. If you mess me up. Okay. And I can just kind of erase. I would. <laughs> uh huh. But once you get done, you're not going to see any of this. I'm just showing you that it's not a freaky thing to stencil because you can just totally erase what makes you not happy. And that'll dry and it'll look fabulous. That's exactly what I did on that one, which looks fabulous if you'd like to focus on that, Katie. I will focus on that. All right, do it. Now, it's probably going to, will you hand me the palette piece, Pop Tom? It's probably going to smear our paint just a little bit, but we're just doing the get her done thing. So, nail gum. Isn't this fabulous? And I need longer nails. So, we're going to put in the longer nails. I'm not on the internet. <laughs> Alright, there we go. They said they're not bored, they're mesmerized. Mesmerized, oh challenge. yes. Alright, move the saw there real quick, please, Kate. Alright, so I'm going to attach this. I don't know where to move it to. Well, I just need that other piece, okay? So I'm going to, my nails are long, but they're not long enough to go through that. So this goes down here like this. My piece goes on top of it to nail through the back. And then Katie, see that one we haven't used? Mm -hmm. Stick that under the front just to kind of hold it. Not yet. It's good enough. All right, I just need something to kind of hold it. All right, and also, based on the fact that this is a U shape, I'm gonna put my nails in near the bottom so they don't poke through this area right here where my uh, iPad's supposed to go. So. This is so fun. Ta da! Now, you have your stand. What? I didn't finish the stenciling. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I was just kidding. I was just. You laughed. I didn't <laughs> laugh. I, w I choked a little bit. On you did my... not choke, you laughed. I was testing out the pointer finger and choked myself with my uvula. Something. Okay, so we have this little piece right here, <laughs> three inches long, and let me tell you the trick on this one. Tom, will you move the painted one over there? Leslie Foster said, glad to see you make it back from Target in time. Oh, is she the one I saw at Target today? That was awesome. That was hilarious. And jump in there and paint something, Leslie. We chatted today at Target. It was lovely. She didn't give me her name, and I forgot to ask. That was rude of me. But paint. Okay, so for the little easel guy, Oh, well, we'll attach them in a minute. The trick I found after cutting a 500 of them is, I have my, you can move that same thing so I don't get dust on it. On my saw, there is, and if you want, you could just probably do something straight out the back, but you need something so it doesn't fall over if you're pushing and typing on whatever your tablet is. So on the saw, right here, this little guy twists open. And then something on here says 45, and I'm going to line it up with 
45. Please don't take your arm off. Come up. And then tighten it. It's going to go all over me. And it's still here. <laughs> all right. Stop maybe away from the fan, not so much. Okay. So when I cut this, there we go. When I cut this, it's going to cut that angle. If I go to cut it off, it's going to cut that angle again. I want that on the other side, so I'm going to turn it over. I'll show you why in just a sec. Did you mark the edges? No. I'm going to cut the finger off of the pointer. Did mark it first? If you don't quit. No. One, two, three. Do and it right have. where you have it. <laughs> Yay. All right, Katie, hand me that little piece down there. Well, I'm sorry, I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Thanks. Okay, now, you what? I know my I edge camera is like on either side. So now, when I attach this, it will be flat on the table and flat on my piece. If I didn't do it that way, turn that one around where I didn't do it that way, Tom. I don't feel like that's going to be quite as sturdy because see the bottom part is just straight across. It's just this dirty. Maybe. Do either way you want. I, yeah, and somebody, don't ask me about my goggles either, my safety goggles. I forgot those. So sorry. Okay, so then what I do, and there's probably a better way, <laughs> is... Johnny I'm, Williams said that, Dad, that's how accidents happen in the workplace. You messing with the pointer finger while Mom's got right. the power tools. I've got it straight on the table. I'm just going to mark a line right here. So I know where to put it. And this is the part where you might need a friend. Jill? Yep. <laughs> did you see me pass right over Tom when I said I'll friend? be your friend. Uh-huh. You just need me to hold it. Yeah, I just need you to hold it. From the Putting top. in my shorter nails so I don't go all the way through. And mostly just to brag that I have two sizes of nails. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. And we're gonna go one. Now, you can't do that. It can't move. Oh. Maybe All the right. pointer doesn't have the strength to be my friend right now. Okay. All right, got it? It's at an angle. There you go. Is this the one I... There we go. That's it. Don't get your finger. I'm going to go above my finger. Don't let it move, Tom. I'm not letting it move. Not going anywhere. Will you stop laughing every time I turn it around? <laughs> Hand me the finished one. No, I'm, it's okay. Hand me the finished one. Sorry. There. <laughs> now, the other thing I... Oh, I did it wrong. That's why it's laughing. <laughs> Don't could have said, Laura, you did it wrong. <laughs> well, you, you two could have. Tom couldn't have. That would not have gone with I didn't Tom even said. notice. <laughs> yeah. Check if you're only going to paint one side. Make sure you get that right. Okay. When that dries, I'll show you what I did. I just dry brushed some... You can tell. I just dry brushed some slate onto the front of it. See? It's a good thing you onto finished the that. Front. It'll match that. I'm really... <laughs> You're getting in trouble. Okay. I'm not trying to get Now, trouble. the only thing we needed to show you on the stained one there is everything is exactly the same, except we did a chalkboard in the middle. And I'm not very good, surprise, surprise, at being exact. <laughs> so, when I did the chalkboard, I didn't want to measure because I would never have gotten it exactly right. So, I did, and you can do whatever size you want. A fat piece of tape. Because for those of you who don't know, no. Talk about chalkboard time. If what? you, I'm focusing on tape. If you don't feel the. You, no, it's not. What? What now? You don't call me a fat piece of tape, but you call me a fat piece of something. If you don't, if you don't seal our paint, any of our paints are become chalkboards. So it's a chalkboard paint uh, if it's unsealed. Did I do okay? Mom does really? it better. Yeah. You yeah. do do it better, but if I was don't seal the, the paint. No tough top and no glaze. Then it can be used as a as a chalkboard surface. I should say. You don't have to do that. anything else. Okay. That seemed. Do what? 
Oh, sure. We're not to that point. Okay, so <laughs> everybody around me just chipping in. Okay, that's true. Okay, this seemed too big for me, so I also put a little piece right in front of the fat piece. If Why are you laughing? Can we call it wide? I don't know that I'm That's really... That's a bad word. It's, Not, a, piece of it's a piece of tape. I haven't called a person that. Okay. All right. And now... <laughs> feeling okay, Dad? It's husky and <laughs> smaller. All right. There we go. Yeah, you that was really fast. Somebody shared it. Whoever shared it, thank you. Y'all should all be sharing it. I shared it. Could y'all all share it? Share it with like Amazon or <laughs> share it with Hobby Lobby or NBC. Michaels. NBC. NBC. I hadn't thought of that. That's hilarious. That's okay. I don't know. Uh, all right. Got a little bit of black. HGTV in that handsome guy TV. That's what I want to be on. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Okay. Make sure, hey Idaho! Is that Michelle? Um, I was just making sure my tape was stuck down so it didn't, didn't go through. And... Johnny shared it about five times. Johnny, we love you! Has anybody else shared it? Johnny's the only one we love. Pop my favorite list is still Lori for the jelly. Oh, Lori's still your favorite for the yes. jelly. So apparently if you want to be on Katie's favorite list, send food. That's Which is exactly, actually true yeah. <laughs> and disgusting if you saw Katie. Because she is like a half an ounce. That's how much she weighs. Okay, I have a brush there. Did I get it? Yeah, it looks like so. you got it. There it is. Yay! Thank you guys. All right. Yeah, we need you to share it so, so people buy so more people buy paint. Because Tom's already panicking because in May, my son starts full time. We don't know how we're going to pay him. We're thinking Tom's going to quit and spend all day on the boat. We're just going to trade one and play for another. Is that your plan? Huh? You're busy eating the finger and didn't pay attention. <laughs> I want to pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. We've I'm going got... to start modeling mankinis on my boat and selling the pictures on my own personal. That's. It's just going to be... Okay, while well, this drives for a second, space, let me just share with Facebook. you. Let me just share with you. Okay. Oh, where'd my iPad go? Over oh, there. Back okay, here. So Lori said that she can't share because she's watching on she's at work with a phone number on the book for her. Okay. Oh. That was okay. I that was for the jelly, the jam. Okay. Oh, I'll be ordering jelly. That is so, jelly. Just one sec. Let me find it. Yeah. Scary, just one sec. There's some scary oh, things on here. Thanks, Lori. I what needed to find another the... food that I like to eat. Yeehaw! Thank you, Connie Diebler from okay, so where? Connecticut? We have... Pennsylvania? Whoops. All right. So we have oh. just a really old pontoon boat. Tom's been looking for a boat forever. We got this last year... Nothing fancy about it, old as the hills, but we absolutely you, love it. It works for us. You push it around the lake with a cane pole. <laughs> it's awesome. It fits all of our kids, and it's great. So this is the text I get when Tom's thinking about buying the boat. He's like, this is how I feel when I'm on the boat. And we're all cracking up. Because Tom's extremely handsome, um, but this is a different look than he usually has. So he's like, this is how I feel when I'm on the boat. And then we get this one. Somehow, this is how all pictures of me on the boat turn out, though. <laughs> so that's photographs of Tom You're actually kidding. taken on the boat. Just kidding. <clears throat> actually, that is me. That is not you. <laughs> and then he decided one day we would have to have a formal day on the boat. And no, that is not Tom either. But he was cracking me up with all the pictures he was sending. And then he started sending swimsuit suggestions, and we won't even go there. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that one. Google, so were Google right, Mankini no. and you will Do know. not Google, Google that. It will hurt your Man eyes. Kini. I don't care who has it on. It will just discard you forever. So don't even do that. All right. How many so, kids do you have, Mom? That was a question. Well, I have five. <laughs> we were... I still should not I be mean, telling stories like this on Thursday We have Thursday five three. and we like three of them. We, we <laughs> have five. We were explaining to my oldest the whole situation with the birds and bees. Um, and we had our five at that point. And she gets this really weird look on Wait. her face. 
This is naughty. This is not naughty. <laughs> it's not naughty. Okay. It's clean. She gets this weird look on her face. <laughs> this is limbs. She gets this weird look on her face and she goes, Ew, you and dad? Five times? And we're like, yep, five times, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Um, is our chalkboard clean? I mean, dry? I'm still getting over you being so dirty. Oh, you are, are you? Uh -huh. They said you have six kids if you include Tom. That's exactly right. Okay, we're going to pretend this one's I'm done. I would large. probably put I'm another like coat seven. on it. <laughs> but we're going to pretend it's done, so I'm going to take the tape off now. And I usually pull away from the paint, just in case. Like everybody. Hmm. You're going to be... What? It's not frozen for me. It's not saying there's a okay. case. And then that one. And then we got one more. Pulling away from the paint. Apparently it's taunted like everybody does. I'm sorry. Okay. And then... You're not on her good side today. Nope. No. No. Okay. <coughs> what day was on her good side? Do you remember that day? <laughs> and... That looks really good. Thank it does you. look good. When you tape it off right, You okay. got blue tape stuck on this side still. I got what? Blue tape on this side still? Okay. And I'm not going to put it together, but I am going to show you that I personally like it distressed, but it's choice. Did more on the corners, because that's the way I like it. Um, and then Jill was saying earlier. Get your bottom. No, I wasn't. Thinking. Did you just say get your bottom? No, he said don't. See. Uh huh. He was on your side that time. Right. Okay. Supposed to season a chalkboard, which means although this looks fabulous as is, you're supposed to take a piece of chalk. Is it dry? Is it dry? I don't know. Dry enough. <coughs> and you do that. The reason you do that is. If you do not, some of you probably already know this, the first thing you write on the chalkboard will always be on the chalkboard. Now, you can take a wet rag and you can make it all pristine and fabulous again, but this is what it's gonna look like. I didn't do that because I think there is a little wet spot there, so I didn't do that. But, if you don't do that, then whatever you write on the chalkboard the first time stays there forever. So my kids know when I'm assembly lining chalkboards and if I leave the room, I come back and all of our chalkboards say the same thing and can never really get it off. Although what I have discovered is most women are okay with taking that home because the dad in their home is sometimes a dwarf also. Mm -hmm. So it works. So just make sure you season it if you're using the chalkboard thing. So, and that's it because this one goes together exactly the way the other one went together. You put the little easel thing on the back, put your, you know what, I should just dress this real quick. It makes a huge difference. And that's why you don't want to pin it together, put it and nail it together so you stretch. Remember to put the right back on the back. <laughs> Alright. If you get what's the board we started with, Tom, the long board? Here we go. A board. Dum, da, da, dum. No, the kind of board. It's a fine. What's the what are the dimensions? I'm oh. gonna go to Home Depot and I'm gonna buy a one by twelve by. That's not like a game. Now, Katie, I'm gonna go to Home Depot and I'm gonna buy a. You know, how you go around the room with that. <laughs> like when you're driving. Hammer. Yeah. Hammer. <laughs> what's, one what's, by twelve by four. One it's a one by twelve by, by four. four. Thank you. If you buy a one by twelve by four, you should be able to make at least three of these, probably four of these, which makes them come out to about three bucks a piece. Um, they're probably even less, they're great Christmas presents or Easter presents. I'm trying to think of what's coming up. <laughs> you can write Happy Spring or Happy Easter on these. One of the painted ones would be beautiful with an initial in the middle. Do not, oh, don't do that. Um, and, uh, Mom doesn't like that noise. No. So they're way easy to make, way inexpensive. They are great gifts. Um, and that's if you don't, that's if you're paying for the other pieces of wood to do this. And if you just get this palette stuff, it is so easy. So, so easy. Thank you for joining us. Did you us. use black stain or black paint? Uh, this I use black, Raven black stain top, and then the middle black is paint. midnight paint. Black paint. Mm -hmm. And you can, it doesn't always have to look like that. Um, okay. you can have see you the ever difference. been uh, tempted to distress Tom? 
so many times. That's a great I'm, question. I self-distress. Whoever asked that, I really, really like. I self-distress. Okay. See, you can see the difference now. The raven black and the midnight paint in the middle. So, ta-da! Thank you so much for joining us. We truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you for the people who were the customer creations. If you want to add that, if you want to join that. You did a really good job today. <laughs> if you would like to enter that, just go to the Reason Took by Laura Paint Q&A page. Join the group. It's an awesome group. Everybody is so kind, so wonderful, so full of suggestions and so helpful. And post a project you've done, and that's where we go through and choose the winners from. So join that page and share the video so that we can buy paint so that Tom doesn't have to quit the company. And thank you so, so much for joining us. Happy rethinking.